don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification, gang, rights, gang, clothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Uh huh. I ain't talking fast. Y'all just listening slow. Salute to Gates of the Garden. Gates of the Garden. Um, Dre Dennis. I like this one. I'm not even going to hold you. I do. I, I like this battle. What? What? You want to get low by the fans that it blinds you? How your universe is parallel? We the only one that can see it beside you. Right here, Don Marino versus Danny Myers. I got a lot of things to say. You know, and I'm, and I'm putting it all out there on the whim. I know y'all seen me in the gym damn near slim, but let's get right to it. Salute to my brother Showtime SP too. Yo, when I tell you they was wilding out the gate. Now, there was some gas, but the gas was warranted. Listen, when you have a fire battle, this is the thing that I be missing about the crowds and the crowd reaction. Like, I be liking some crowd reaction in the battle. See, and I figured out, Don Marino, I have figured out what's wrong, right? And what's right, too. I figured out what's right, and I figured out what's wrong. But this is why we're going to do this here. So, um, you got Dan Mar Don Marino. Danny Myers. Danny Myers been cooking, you know, he been doing, he been wilding for like the last two years. He went crazy on Arsenal. He comes back, he goes crazy in this battle right here, you know what I'm saying? But I, I got Showtime SP, my boy, my brother's with me. He, he, gonna talk, he gonna do what he do, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, so, Danny Myers comes out in his first. He starts rebuttaling everything. He rebuttals somebody's wig getting knocked off. He rebuttals the one dude falling into the one dude. He rebuttals about having to go upstairs. Everything is hitting, right? Then he gets into some fire ass bars. I don't got no notes, but you know, I'm definitely thug and it's all in my memory of, right? So he starts talking about why he didn't have no luchador theme music. When they gave Don Marino, it wasn't a ring to it. Oh, out the gate, he starts bombing on Don Marino. This motherfucker starts getting into sets of bars. I could have Don flipped with a nod. He starts wilding on him. And all throughout Danny Myers' first round, phenomenal put together round. I mean, he was winging. Jab, jab, then a hook be on the way. The uppercut was straight in this put like I got pussy on the way. Oh my god. Y'all niggas know y'all be having some bitted uns on the way. You gotta start cleaning and start throwing shit around, getting shit together. You know, you got the you got the bitter duns, you gotta get your shit right. You know what I'm saying? You don't want sure to get over there and be like You gotta be right for the bitter duns. Um Don Marino on his first round. He comes out in his first round, he starts straight to the Mexican bars. Starts talking about his T.O., uh, you know, the Roach Motel had never been raided. I thought it was fire. I liked Don Marino's first round. But I definitely had Dan Danny Myers winning the first round. I had Danny Myers winning the first round. I felt like his material was layered, that uppercut, the pussy on the way. Like, he had such big moments in his rounds. If you look at, look at Bill Collector's face. Bill Collector is an amazing MC, a dope talent. Look at him the whole battle, and that's how I felt. That How Bill Collector was looking the whole battle was kind of how I felt by just watching it, right? So, um, he's wildin'. Don Marino had a fire first round, too. I'm not going to lie, but Danny Meyer's material is upstairs. He's writing for the best. He's not writing to the level of competition. I'm going straight to the third round. Third round, uh, Danny Myers had some shit. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of took his foot off the gas at the end of the battle, letting them, you know, I got a battle on URL coming up in two weeks. Whoop-de-woo, blah, blah. I spoke to Danny Myers not too long before the battle. 
I was wondering why he was taking this shit anyway. I'm like, yo, you got fucking this battle coming up. That why are you even doing this? But this is what he do. Kind of took his foot off the gas, but it didn't matter because Don Marino, to me, one of his best rounds was his third round, and he was waking. What? That motherfucker has some moments in his third round. He was beasting. <laughs> now, Don Marino in this battle, he did take, you know, he did take the same typical angles by Danny Myers, his wife, his son, the 12K. Like, it's just, like, I just be wanting somebody to battle. See, I know motherfuckers gonna battle Danny Myers and they can't beat him without using the same angles. And first of all, they motherfuckers can't beat him at all. So they have to use the same redundant angles and it's like over and over. And then, then he did like um, the shit with the change. You know what I'm saying? I done seen that shit done in like five battles before. I seen Brooklyn Carter do it. I seen Chess do it. I seen somebody else do it. Now I seen Don Marino. He's trying to like change the angle or whatever. But to me, this shit been done before. I got Don Marino winning the third round. Second round. Now, the second round is where it gets a little bit you gotta, you gotta, when you watch it, I've seen the battle twice, and in my opinion, and I feel like, in my honest opinion, I got, I got a, uh, how I'm going with this one, I watched it twice, I got Danny Myers winning the second round, I'm sorry, like, I, I, I like what Danny Myers' material, like, what he's coming with, he's rebuttaling, He's he's using uh, he like even in his first round he had the freestyle about the polo the, the horse the blue the sim like Danny Myers is just not to be fucked with right now. Don Marino won the war though. The war was is he gonna be able to do this against a name like he battled Rum Nitty that battle went left. Uh, he comes into this battle and I didn't really think that he would win, but I was like he needs to level up. He leveled up versus Danny Myers. See the pro I I I. I Told y'all what it was. He's not, he has yet to transfer a Gates of the Gardens performance over the URL. You have to be able to transfer. See, Gates of the Garden is a great platform. You know, they're they doing a lot for the, for the smaller battlers. You know, it's an up and coming league. They're they doing all they can do. But that shit has to translate. What you do in the Rucker has to translate to the NBA. If it's not, if you're not transferring that shit over to the NBA, you're gonna always be a star on Gates of the Garden. Now, that performance right there, you gotta bring that shit over to Smack, bro. You have to do that shit in front of Smack. Danny Myers is, he is who we thought he was. I don't, I, he gave me what I expected. This is what I expected. I don't expect nothing less from Danny Myers. And the way the app has it, um, I think it's like, hold on, let me get it right. I don't need, I don't know. I want to get it wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. Let's see what we'll, we'll see what the numbers were on the app, man. The numbers on the app. 255 to 80. So 250 people had Danny Myers. Uh, 80 people had Don Marino. First round, 12,000. Don Marino's 5,000. Second round, 7,000. Don Marino's 4,000. Third round, 3,000, 3,000. I got, like I said, I had um, Don Marino winning the third round. You know, but dope battle overall, nothing to hold anybody's head about, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some people out there who feel like Don Marino won too, but just my personal opinion, it is what it is. Showtime. Take him away. Go. Open the app. Open the app. Open the app to the garden. They open the app. They open the app. They open the app to the garden. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP, and nobody that knows bodies. Pow! Oh, I'm in here to talk about a body. Is it a body? Is it a body? I mean, if you check the scorecards, it'll probably say, just don't, don't, don't check the score. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Danny Myers versus Don Moreno. Let's talk about it. Mr. Borgon versus the Mexican bars. Mm, mm, mm. They got a lot of hate coming from both sides. A lot of people thinking Danny Myers does not need to battle Don Marino. For God's sakes, Danny Myers doesn't need to be battling Kid Chaos. But it's happening. Guess what? It's going down. Ain't shit we can do about it. It's going down. And the only thing we can do is just be supportive of Danny Myers. Don Marino didn't deserve Rum Nitty, but he got Rum Nitty. Danny, Don Marino doesn't deserve Danny Myers, but he got Danny Myers. Guess what? We still got to deal with it. Don't give a goddamn shit. Let me tell you something about this battle, though. This battle... 
is smokable, man. I'm this is some smoke right here. I'm I'm mm, mm -hmm, yeah, it's mm -hmm, it's that it's that good. It's that good. It's good. Is it fire though? That is all up to debate. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I'm not I'm not trying to be jumping out the windows for the classics all over this year. But all I'm saying is Danny Myers is definitely putting up a fight. This year it has already been on four consecutive cards, I'm not mistaken. Since the since about the the new year or it's about to go down or something like that, like he's trying to do this run, and I'm with it. But I also remember what happened last year in the beginning of last year with Danny Myers. Same thing. We we Danny, what we doing here? What we doing here, Danny? Are we taking any and everybody? Because you can. I think this is the year that you should just be picking and choosing your battles. But that's just me, personally. The bars that you be having is potent. And I want to know how you be coming up with this shit in a matter of three weeks. How you be coming up with this shit in a matter of a couple days. I just don't understand that shit. Don! Don Marino, sir! Even though even though you slipped and fell down the steps against Rum Nitty, Rum Nitty said, come on, man, get your shit off. And you still didn't let it go down the way that you wanted it to go down. But Don, you still did your thing. Let me tell you something, Don, in this battle... We're not going to remember. We don't remember what happened in that room. We, we remember, but we're not going to remember what happened in this battle. I'm going to make a case. I'm going to make a case. I understand what the, 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 the battle says, and I understand what the votes be saying, and I understand this is the reason why I even get put into the insane asylum in the first place. So I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to come out there. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad if somebody told me that Don Marino won this battle. I'm not not going to be mad at you if you tell me Don Marino won this battle. What I won't be mad at as well is somebody saying that Don Marino didn't get around. You might be fluffing it a little bit because y'all know we, we just going to talk about it. Because guess what I did? Got the notes. Mm -hmm. First round, we're going to start off on Danny. He had no coin flip. There was nothing. There was no coin flip. He just started off. I am a... Never mind. But he started freezing dialing about everything around the event that was happening in the room or it happened into that event that night. So it was a lot of stuff that was going over the heads of the people that was watching the battle. But in that event, niggas was going crazy. I didn't understand it, but I understood it. I got it. All right. But there's one thing that they did. He did throw this part in there. He says, a headshot to have a white boy fall in your arms like Ziggy and SG. And they showed the white boy falling in another dude's arm. It was funny. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I understand the event now. This is cool. Let's keep it rocking. He said, my team ruthless. I got killers that'll do the job. I won't even, he said, they won't even speak. They'll just flip Don backwards with a nod. Because if you flip Don backwards, it's a nod. Cool. He says, I am a god. You getting devastated. This battle was well awaited. We ain't the same pigment, but I thought we was when we, when this, I thought we was this way when it's melanated. When it's melanated. Because they thought we was the same pigment. Melanated. Okay, cool. You coming off like a vulture. You said your people ain't got no papers. Bitch, my people ain't got no culture. They stripped our history. They left us in a state of anguish. At least you could speak to each other in your native language. We can't. Because, you know, well, Ebonics counts. You know what I'm saying? Depending on where you're from. Depending on, you know, the, the part of the United States you're from. Everybody got their own language. That's their native language. I'm, I'm from Philly. You feel me? That's drawing. Fuckers on your biscuit. It's cool. Uh, he said he gonna keep crying. I'll put the heat to his bean and refry him because of refried beans. It's a Mexican joke. I got that. That was cool. He said, now, Danny goes, he says, you'll feel the essence. This is a pinata part. He said, this is a pinata party. Feel the presence. Because... I didn't, I was like, oh, I didn't get that. But then he says, that's when I grab the stick and break them down into different sections because the pinata is something you hit and the keep candy or whatever be falling. He says, grip a weapon. With this piece, I'll scalp you. I was beating the Don before Street Fighter Alpha. Okay, see, Vada, this is the part where you're supposed to find a Don and put him up, right? Like, like right here. If you don't put him right here, it's going to look really weird when you edit it. Because I'm going to just be looking stupid like this. So I really hope you caught this part. But anyway, he says, um, uh, 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 he says, we might have slapped, he said, we, I might have slapped you. Two jabs, a right hook will be on display. Then an uppercut will help him straighten up like he got pussy on the way. Because when you, I don't think I have to explain that one. Great round, great first round from Danny Myers. Great first round from Danny Myers. Now the first round is on Don Marino 
Let's go, Don. He says, let me tell you a story. My tia was on the run for three years and his green card never been dated. Let me just point out, too, uh, these, these people that he's saying in Spanish is basically relatives that he's saying in Spanish. And I'm going to get to that when I get to that in a, in a second. It's cool. He says, well, let me tell you a story. My tia was on the run for three years. His green card never been dated. Collected his payments. Went from place to place and got clevered and changed it. Rat infested. Bear bugs. I said, Tio, you better explain it. Why are you staying in this roach motel? Because it's never been raided. So you was just letting your uncle just stay in that dirty ass house? Because I get it because he was on the run. You just... Shit was hot though. All right, he um he says who he said um then he did a little who am I plug, you know who am I? I'm the you know I'm the plug that um that your wife got hooked on drugs and you know that gave the drugs to you. I, the thing about it is it's been done before, Don. But I get it because you're trying to do it differently, and that's cool. But a lot of you know uh, me personally, I didn't like it like that because I felt I felt the way that it was being used before. So if there was going to be a bunch of addiction bars, it's not going to help the case unless it's going to be something crazy that we've never heard before, but we've already heard it before from other people. But I won't discredit you because I still wrote the shit down. He says, I ain't feeling this coward. My abuela, he so, my abuela really sold tamales to keep on the power. Really survived off to, to, to tears. Hated the cold showers. Horton, here's a who. My family really lived off that flower. See, abuela is grandma. You know what I'm saying? That's nana or, you know, gram gram or glam mom, depending on if you 25 and your grandmother's 42. Don't ask no questions. Um, All I'm saying is that, once again, done. That was hot. Mexican bars, they be working. You know what I'm saying, you know, I feel for you, I feel you, but I and I did like the whole Horton Here's a Who. My family really lived off the flower because Horton Here's a Who was like a little, it was a flower on the tip of a, on the elephant's nose, and, and it was like literally a whole universe. And never mind, he says, You oh, get soft, get saucy off the tomatoes to uh, Pico de Gallo because I guess Pico de Gallo is like a, a tomato dick. I don't really. I, I go to Chipotle, I just get regular regular food. Like, I don't know what the regular food is. I just wrap it up in a burrito. He says, now you getting fucked up by the Don. And now you getting fucked up by Don. Cinco de Mayo, fucked up by Don. Cinco de Mayo is the day of celebration. I usually see a lot of my friends getting fucked up way before the sun goes down. But then it doesn't have to be Cinco de Mayo. I see holes in your universe like a time portal. That's fire. That's fire, Don. He says, Ray's Boom Boom Room. He goes to an imaginary place behind these bars. I like it. I like it. Once again, you're talking about something that we haven't heard. We're talking about something that we have already heard before. But you're just saying the parallel universe. It, it, it's one of those things, Don. Like... It's something that people are paying attention to, and it's just like, it, it. it's something that they are paying attention to. But I'm still getting, I'm giving you credit for these bars, because these bars are still dope. Like, lyrically, they are hot. Uh, he says, um, my, my suegro came to his country. Two options for the recruiter. Hit the fields or be a shooter. Don't need a time machine with a vegetable to know he had to pick beans in the future. Okay, so Suegro is also his father-in-law, mm -hmm. his wife's dad or his, you know, uh, brother's, uh, brother's wife's dad or whatever, you know what I'm saying, Suegro, I never knew that and I just learned that today, see what happens when you, when you be reading, nigga, hang hey, man, after this round, we gotta draw the line, okay, now that line itself is hot, because after you, after this round, you gotta draw the, Turning anything into a punch like crystal light. Okay, that's fire as well. All right, good. I need a man's. I need a man's to be here so I can say get your man's because that would be a get your man's type situation. But it's cool because we can't be too loud. The kids to sleep. Now, depending on who you decide wins the first round. Now, I know it might sound like I'm trying to be biased towards Danny. I guess so because I like Danny's first round better than I like Don's first round. But... Uh, the things that I liked about uh, Don's first round, they were dope. But I just felt like he just he kept using he used a different family member in every sing in, in every different one, and it was cool. 
and it, and he had the bar to go with it. That was the originality part that I loved the most about it. It wasn't like an angle toward it, like but his material towards Danny, it wasn't like it was towards Danny. But it's been something that's been said before. How do you battle somebody? Whose angles have already been said before. It's very difficult. The only thing you can do is just bar a nigga to death. That's why Rum Nitty continually wins battles for the most part. Just saying. Um, round two on Danny. Uh, uh, he says, you know the case closed when the cash is right and, the ass is and his ass is sniped. Now let's see if your homies can fix your roof for half the price. Mexican bar. It's another Mexican, Mex Spanish joke. I get it. Y'all seen the movie, she was a Mexican singer, fit, pretty face with a meaner figure. Well, my gun is like her boyfriend, Chris. This Selena nigga. Alright, alright, you gonna have to get your dance. Cause that, 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 that was actually pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was actually hot. I got the coldest bars. You survived COVID, your family struggled, your soul been scorned, but these guns sound like you're, like, these guns sound like how you pronounce your words. That means you could still never roll with R's, because when you say Spanish words with the two R's, you gotta roll the R's, but you still couldn't roll. These are good Spanish bars, I'm not gonna lie. Don Court, all right, now here's where I, right, he said, I didn't want to use Rum Nitty's real name, but this beat is, is, but this bar is so flames, Don Cornell is the one who puts you, who put you on the soul train, it's Don Cornelius, but I mean, I take Don Cornelius, I mean, let's just, let's, let's just flick that one, we're just gonna flick that bar, because I, it was cool, but I, I think it was a bit of a reach. That's just me, Danny. I'm just saying. Uh, do you believe in a pair? Do you believe in a parallel border crossing? <laughs> I do. He finna levitate out on observed Mexican holidays, but may the fifth be the reason I celebrate. <laughs> ah man! All right, Danny, you, you you're trying here, and it's it, it's working. Only time Spanish fly in the bar is putting bitches to sleep. I leave no competitors. I'll introduce you to people that only dig graves. Please know your barriers. I'll introduce you to the people that only dig graves. Please know your barriers. Like barriers as well as your bar. Round two on down. Let's go. Uh, he said, "Fool's ball. These bars on the table make it hard to kick it." Don, you you were doing the the addiction stuff and 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 you were picking and choosing in the first. So now I guess we're gonna go deeper into it. This is where the fight can start to tilt. Hear me out. Frankenstein, we waiting to see what screw up next. That's fire. Come on, that. Come on, that's, that's fire. Okay, y'all didn't like that one? What about this one? Gilbert Arenas, he just gunning the practice? Because Gilbert Arenas apparently plays with guns and he brought those to practice. That's what he said as an altercation, and I recall that in the newspaper. Now, it's crop circles because you left your mark where the dirt's fine, then alienated yourself with them rounds. That should have been the first sign. Okay, now, Don, we getting somewhere. That? Let's 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 keep that. Let's let's keep that Don. I like that. I like that. That was fire, okay? Kidney stones, a push from P is really putting the strain on you. Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Spring cleaning. Skip away for a line or two, absorbing the substance. Mr. Miyagi, Daniel's son, see you turning chores in the punches? Even though the angle has been used before, that bar is fire, my nigga. That bar is still fire. I don't care. But here is the defining line of the round. This is the defining bar that I have for Don. And this is where you can kind of say Don could slightly edge this round. He says, I know Mike had an angle about your wife because we know her history. That means he was already, he did it anyway. I did this anyway. So let's finish it off. I know Mike had an angle about your wife because we know her history, but set it off. Police shot at the wrong person, literally. Because it's seen in the back of our head initially. 
See, in the movie, set it off. The Stony brother got killed because he had went and got a tattoo on the back. He had went and got a, his back his hair cut like the suspect in the robbery. Uh -huh. It's just fire. It, okay, continue. He says, he says, oh, because it's uh, it's seen in the back of your head initially. You let this culture define you, line you, want to get loved by the fans. It blinds you. How your universe is parallel when we the ones that see it besides you. Okay, Don. All right, Don. All right, Don. Okay. Okay. We're going to put a pin in that. We're going we gonna to put a pin in that because that was, that was fire, my nigga. That was fire, Don. I was rocking with that. I hope you made it this far into the video to understand that I appreciate shit like that. Even though it's been done before, I appreciate shit like that. Keep it going. Um... Round three on Danny. This is where Danny lets his foot off the gas. He did a lot of freestyling. He did a lot of uh, a, a lot of lines where it just seems like it wasn't necessarily directed towards Don, but the ones that I did catch, um, the ones he says, uh, he says, I went to his grandparents' house and had the fiendish moment. Knocked his grandfather out that right hand. I was leaning on it. His grandma couldn't understand the word I said. So when I socked her, I had to put some English on it. These are these are continuous Spanish bars, but they are they are good. Okay, I don't I did the bitch only Mexican that yeah yeah they agreed to build a wall because yeah yeah cool. Um, he said uh, I used the knife to cut the coke. I'm a snow piercer, and y'all niggas went crazy for that. Now, granted, the bar was hot. It was hot. Shaw niggas didn't need to go that goddamn crazy for it. Danny let off the gas, and his round was the shortest. Now, round three on Don, I don't think I have to really explain too much about Don winning the third round because of the fact that Danny was so short. But the one line that I liked from Don was, y'all really think Danny busy, y'all really think Danny busy, uh, 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 busting text, a rough neck. Don Marino don't sound like a killer till I sound like the suspect. I, you know the vibes, the homie slide, me and the cartridge got a bond, golden eye, because Nintendo 64, golden eye was a little cartridge, and I know that y'all niggas know that, and I know that y'all hold, y'all heard that line before, but I like the way that that was put together, that shit was hot, and then he says, silencer on, he says, silencer, when I hold the knot, sound like an episode of Cobra Kai, it's because I watch Cobra Kai, I like that bar, but, it is a similar, it is an NWX style, you know, like, that's how you rap, so it's fine. Honey, I shrunk the kids, he got a shrink from the attic, you're know, using the same angle bars. To me, personally, I still think Don won the battle, uh, the Don didn't win the battle. Danny won the battle. I feel like Danny got this battle 2-1. I would edge, uh, I would edge Danny, uh, the second round. That second round, it might have got away from him. I also wouldn't be mad, I wouldn't be mad at somebody telling me that in the first round, that was Don's most explosive round but yet it just wasn't enough for Danny um then me personally I think this battle could go either way it can be argued and I can understand it did Danny lose this battle no is this a like an easy to block captain type loss no but did Don Marino show that he could bounce back from that rum nitty loss of course am I nobody that knows bodies yes is this a body 